In this problem we have these polynomials and we have to add and subtract them and we have to write the answer in standard form. That means uh, from the biggest degree to the smallest, so the biggest exponent to the smallest, and then we have to find the degree. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. So this one doesn't have a negative in front of it, this piece, so we can just drop the parentheses. So 5x squared minus 7x minus 8. It's because there's really a 1 here and it doesn't matter because when you take 1 and you multiply it by this, it just you just get that. Same thing here. There's, there's a 1 here, but there's no negative, so we can just drop it. 2x squared minus 3x plus 7. And then here is where uh, the hard part will be. There's really a 1 here and it's a negative 1, so it's going to change all the signs. So it's important to take this negative 1 and multiply it by each term. So negative 1 times x squared is going to give us negative x squared. And then negative 1 times negative 4x is going to give us a positive 4x. And then negative 1 times negative 3 is going to give us a positive 3. Okay, now we can combine everything and write our answer down. So let's start with the biggest uh, exponent, which is 2. So let's look at the x squared. So 5x squared plus 2x squared, that's going to give us 7x squared. But then we subtract 1x squared, so 7 minus 1 is 6. Okay, so 5 plus 2 is 7, minus 1 is 6, and we have an x squared. What about the x's? We have negative 7x minus 3x. That's going to give us negative 10x, but then we add that to 4x, that's negative 6x. And then last but not least, the numbers, we have negative 8, and then here we have a 7 and a 3, so that's 10. So negative 8 plus 10 is 2. And so that would be the final answer. And you'll notice that the exponents are biggest to smallest, so it's in what's called standard form. The degree is the biggest exponent so in this case, the biggest exponent is 2, so the degree is 2. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.